Oh, my brother. How are you? Hey, Mike. What's uh, up? Are you feeling any better? I'm feeling a little better. So Good. so for those of you watching at home, if I sound a little different, I'm getting over a head cold. So forgive my voice because... A bad, a bad head cold, actually. You, it, it's, really... it's not normal. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's clearing up. I'm almost over it. It's great. Good. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're on the road to recovery. Believe me, it's there's stuff going around right now. So, but, you know, the thing is, is illnesses suck, but they're just part of life. Is you got yeah. to experience them. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Been there, done that. <laughs> and it um, makes the times you're healthy all the much better. I know, I, I know. As soon as you get over something like that, you're right away. You're like, man, I feel so much better. But um, man, but, yeah. I can't wait to work out again. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, I believe me, I, I need to do more of that, but um, but right now I'll I'll dodge that and we'll yeah. Uh, it, enough let's... of my illness. We're here to talk about the 2007 movie, The Man from Earth, and yes. this this movie is usually billed as a sci-fi. But to be perfectly honest, I do not know how to describe this movie. Uh, I, I think it fits in a lot of categories. Uh, definitely, I, I think definitely sci-fi. Um, now there was a sequel to this too, which oh I... god, yeah, yeah. Don't get me started on the sequel. <laughs> really, really. So, so uh, I was going to wait to talk about this until after yeah. we talk about the movie proper. Yeah. But fans of this movie urge anyone that has seen or is thinking about seeing the Man from Earth to never watch the sequel. Really, the really? sequel is so bad that it yeah. ruins this movie. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, it's, I, it's horrible. <laughs> I actually, when I saw there was, when I saw there was a, a sequel, I actually thought to myself, well, if I, there's probably a whole bunch of nerds that love this movie, <laughs> and uh, this is the Holocene. That's yep, the Holocene. Um, that's the sequel, I guess. But, um, but yeah, I, I was thinking if I if I say anything negative about the movie, I'm probably going to get hammered by a bunch of. <laughs> by a bunch of uh, film buffs that love this movie. And um, I, I got to say, it, it's it's such a simple movie yeah. that I am amazed it has a fan base. Yeah. Um, I I will have to say, because I'm going to go right in and, and, yeah, and give Yeah, go my, right in. Yeah. Uh, well, it's maybe, funny maybe because- Maybe we should talk about what the movie's about for those- Yeah, who go seen. ahead. Give, give the synopsis. And... So, so it's super simple. For those who haven't seen it, um, this college professor is packing up to leave and evidently is packing up to leave without saying goodbye to all his associates yeah. at the college. And so they descend upon his house to, to give him a send off, a little offended, annoyed that he was just going to up and leave. But still, they consider him a friend. So they come down. And during the course of conversation, he lets slip that well, they, they badger. They badger him actually about why are you leaving? But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but but anyway, he he confesses, he admits that he's been alive since the Paleolithic era. That he is <laughs> in essence like what, like almost twenty thousand years old. Yeah, yeah. And and therein lies the discussion where they all think he's dangerously crazy, and yet he calmly explains the whole thing. To the point where he convinces a group of well-educated, ostensibly intelligent college professors that this man standing in front of them is indeed someone that's been alive for several millennia. Right, right. Um, so I'll go into, I'll go into like, I you, you've been saying right along. Uh, I'm I'm just waiting for when I find one that you don't like. Yep. So. Um, I I I won't go so far as to say like that I hated the movie or even strongly disliked the movie, but I it was definitely not a favorite. I don't think I think the only way I would ever rewatch this again is if I was with some people that liked the movie and wanted to see it. Uh, that's probably the only way because I would never try actively try to convince somebody. Oh, you need to see this movie. Um, so that's that that's probably as close as you're going to get to me saying on this one 
that I disliked it. Um, I had a lot of, there was a lot of problems with this movie. There was a and, lot of problems. Yeah. And the, the one, the first thing that was similar to uh, what was the, what was the other one that we watched? It was, it was your pick. I, and I liked the movie, but I, I, I think I, my biggest criticism was I had a problem with a lot of the people that were in the, 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 um, the characters. Um the empty man? Uh, no, not the empty man. I the actually endless? really what? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right. Okay. Um, no, the was the endless. Which which one was the one? The endless was the two brothers going out to the desert for the cult. No, I like that one. I like that one. No, it was it was the one about the group of people and and there was a like a passing comet or something that was. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, coherence. Yes, that was the one. Yep. So, so that I, that was probably the one that I have liked least of your picks. Mm -hmm. um, this until one, this one, <laughs> until this one. Yes. <laughs> so, and my my big problem with that movie was a lot of the people because I said to you during during our discussion, a lot of those people were not people I would want to sit around and have dinner with. <laughs> they were, and these people are worse. Oh, they're so, worse in, entirely. So much, worse. much worse, and and so many of the characters, um, so, so many of the characters were like, including the two that are sitting right, right behind me right now. Um, I thought they there was like I said I've had I I have so many problems with it, but for one thing, I, one of the problems I had with it was I found a lot of them obnoxious. So a lot uh, of the characters. So that in itself kind of like spoiled it for me. The second part of it was I never bought into what he was saying. And I could not convince myself that anyone else would buy into it the way they did. And so, I mean, he didn't convince me in any way. You know, there's, okay, talking about conspiracy theories, who shot Kennedy? Is there a Bigfoot? Is there a Loch Ness? Are there, are there UFOs? Um, I think there's much more evidence and credibility for, for those things, all of those things, than I think there is for his explanation for why they would believe him. There are tons of plot holes. And that's, that is the most unbelievable thing. Like, even yeah. if he were, yeah. I would believe more that he was several thousand years old then I would believe that his talk actually convinced them. <laughs> well, and then there's other, then you, you start getting into other things because at a certain point, he basically tells him he studied under the Buddha and he's Jesus Christ. I know. I and know. So, and I'm like, okay, now you're really taking it way, way too far because it, and, and not that I was offended on a, like this woman behind me, um, she was she was and, and i that was another thing that, that there were so many stereotypical characters she was the stereotypical outrage christian yep. um which in a lot of ways i felt like what he was doing he he must have known that she was a christian and for him to even tell that part of the story and that he um and, and claimed to be jesus christ <laughs> you know I mean, there's a lot of people that have claimed to be Jesus Christ over the years, and in cults, and uh, and people, yeah, will believe him. But I, and and he knew he was really hurting her and offending her. And but he, I, I gotta say, devil's advocate, yeah. would he really care? He's admitted to knowing thousands of people, and he was about to leave without a goodbye. He, yeah, you really think he cared that much? Well, probably not, but that's that that actually uh, lends itself more to the theory that he's a sociopath and 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 delusional, not and mutually that, exclusive to him being four thousand years old. <laughs> well, true, true, <laughs> but I also think that uh, that it probably lend it lends itself more to the fact that he was delusional, and this guy here was the character that I liked the most. Oh, um, this guy is awesome this guy is sci-fi royalty right he here is, he is great he That's was a great Tony character Todd, by the way my only problem with him was how and and part of it was who he was as a human being because he was a he was a kind good person mm -hmm. but but um but i felt he was almost too passionate about like 
let's believe this guy or let's, you know, let's listen to, well, I don't mind the fact that he wanted to listen to him, but, um, but the fact that he, uh, so yeah, like I said, there was the, and then there was the, uh, then there was the obnoxious uh, professor that was having an affair with his, with his student. William Cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, and that was, another, that's another thing that was, uh, when I realized that was William Cat. <laughs> that that's hysterical right there because I know. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, but uh, what's the what was that theme for? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. That's uh, we used to watch that TV show as when we were younger. But um, but yeah, he was he was uh, <laughs> greatest American hero. <laughs> so, uh, but but yeah, um, the the his student was basically the clueless one that didn't say hardly anything, and so again, like I said, there was a lot of stereotypical characters that was yeah the... yeah let me let us butt in here to yeah. say how creeped out i've always been by that professor bringing this young female student right and no one seeming to have an issue with it no no one said a thing about it no no it... no one said a thing like this would be a like i've taught in a university yeah if i were at a party and this happened like things would be said <laughs> yeah well, you, you'd almost have to say something because you're you're actually lending yourself as a as a um, you know, like, yeah you're you're you know and and if you're going to do that, then that puts you in the in the same character of as he is. Now, another thing was that the painting. This really bothered the painting. Really bothered me. If you're going to cart around a painting by a, a well known it was i found that like it was an abomination that he had this painting and well first of all that it lasted that long right if he treats it like that how is it going to last that long yeah no frame just carting it around and for god's sakes he's lived that long he obviously knows how revered the painting is and to be it's sitting on the ground <laughs> it's sitting on the ground and and it's being touched by hands and it's thousands of years old, and it's like really. Oh, it's not thousands. It was Van Gogh, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. It was Van Gogh. So yeah, but hundreds, many hundreds, hundreds uh, many hundreds. I, I mean, you still got to take care of it. Because oh, absolutely. He's not planning on dying anytime soon. If he wants no. that painting around. <laughs> yeah, and and it, I mean, it's like have a little respect, you know. He, supposedly the guy was his friend, so if if it's a real painting, that was probably the only thing that could have gave his story a little bit of authentication if they could have if they could have maybe had the painting you know studied and, and evaluated to say okay well it actually is a real van gogh but um an unknown van gogh but um which would be worth many thousands of dollars or many many millions of dollars um so yeah like i said there was there were so many things that i had problems with that I think that's what mo mostly spoiled the movie for me. Um, and, you know, as a gun guy, I was really appalled when that guy pulled the gun out. Oh my God. That, that was like, it was, it was almost like, I don't even know the guy and I feel it was out of character. <laughs> right. Well, first of all, I mean, there's so many things, of, <laughs> there's so many things about this, um, th 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 that, that moment. Because first of all, I'm a gun guy. I mean, I own guns, you know, for better or worse, I own guns. And you never point a gun at a person. It, I mean, we find out later the gun wasn't loaded. A gun is never unloaded. You never point a gun at a human being. And so the very fact that he pulled that, and I think the only thing that you could actually say that would, gave him a little bit more uh, you know, a little bit more of a pass was he, what, he just lost his wife? Is that what? He that just is? lost his wife. That That is the only thing that made it make sense. Yeah. And and even then, I, I still didn't buy it. I didn't understand, because he, he wasn't planning on killing himself, apparently, because the gun was unloaded. He didn't have any rounds for it. So um, so there was that. Well, actually, he did have rounds for it. But, um, but no, it was, you know, like I said, the the whole thing, just that that left a nasty taste in my mouth right there 
So I don't know. There were there were a lot of things. Well, well also, the, like like if you think about the movie, this guy that with the mustache right here, this guy behind me, yeah, yeah. would not have come. He's the guy that pulled the gun. He wouldn't have even been there if William Cat, the guy that brought the them. student, yeah. hadn't called. And yet later on, it seemed to be common knowledge that this guy's wife has died. Right. And so this guy calls a man whose yeah. wife had just died to come here to deal with an insane yeah. person, which which makes William Cat's character even worse. Even not only, worse. <laughs> not only is he banging his student. Um, well, we don't which, know that. Uh, I think he was. <laughs> it's suspicious. <laughs> they're yeah, they're sitting pretty close together. There was, and basically, she's only there for him. She had really nothing to say. My. I, I didn't really hear any opinions about uh, other than just like looking over at her professor that she was in awe of and uh, that he was taking advantage of. Um, the other person that I had a, a problem with, and that was, like I said, I, I had a problem with most of the characters and it, it spoiled it for me. But, um, and I, you know, I get it. There's, you when you're watching movies, there's, um, there are people that you're going to like and dislike in the movie and that can make the movie better. It can make the movie fun. But uh, there's sometimes you got a villain and you're thinking somebody needs to kill this guy, you know. But but um, but in this movie, like I said, there were a lot of people. The the woman who liked the main character there, um, she, um, she I I found her. She was like a she was like a simpering chick that was just like looking for her. Um, she was she was looking for a boyfriend. She wanted to, uh, and she would and she was buying everything he said, but only because of the fact that she wanted to be his girlfriend. <laughs> and it's like, take me with you. I, I want to be your girlfriend. And it's like, for God's sake, you know, <laughs> you know, do you need a boyfriend that bad? And do you need this guy? So, so again, that's another thing. But it's I, I don't know. Like I said, I just I had so many problems with um, with different characters. And just the believability of, I, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy him. I didn't buy him as, as being four thousand. He looked like he was in his forties. <laughs> you know, he he uh, late forties maybe. But he, um, it, it's like, well, what's the what's the age progression that you're going through in you know four thousand years or whatever the time frame was? But but um, it's I, I I don't know I, nothing about it. It was something that I yeah, could buy. I did it. <laughs> yeah. I picked it. Yeah. Um, so this this movie has so many problems. It's incredibly pretentious. Yes. Yeah. It, in, in numerous plot holes. Yeah. However, I can remember I first saw it. I wasn't expecting anything. I found it on YouTube for free, which if anyone's yeah. interested in watching this movie that they may or may not like, um, it's on YouTube for absolutely yeah. no cost whatsoever. You don't have to yeah. belong to the streaming service. Um, I started watching this and I just caught, got caught up in this philosophical yeah. discussion. That, yeah. that discussion, that premise, that was the whole movie for me. Yeah. I, to, you know, as much as I've said negative things about this movie uh, since I started talking about it, I, I will say that um, I was definitely intrigued by the whole idea of it. I thought it was a neat, different idea that, that you don't commonly see uh, in, in movie plots. I mean, there's so many plots that you see rehashed. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a, it, it was refreshingly different. So I, I will give it full credit for that. Um, and it, like I said, the premise was the premise was good enough that it kept me. I, I I never got bored during the movie. I I was I was in I was involved and in, you know in the movie right to the end. Um, however, I, like I said, I, I didn't like the people. <laughs> I I I didn't buy him as what he was saying. I was if I had been in that room, and I'm a guy that I'm a guy that I can entertain. I can entertain Bigfoot. I can entertain Loch Ness. I can entertain UFOs. I can entertain the 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 far reachable. <laughs> and at the same time, I still like a guy sitting there telling me he's four thousand years old. 
I'm going to be sitting there thinking, hmm. <laughs> and later on, I'm going to say, I think he's got some serious problems. <laughs> well, and that, that's the other thing. Like, like I probably would have done the same thing that yeah. these people took him so seriously. Yeah. Was even more unbelievable to me. Yeah. Yeah. Cause than, I would have had, I would have had drinks and I would have made a lot of jokes and I would have had a lot of laughs. Um, and I, I and I would have listened <laughs> to what he was saying, but I, as <laughs> at the same time, like I, I, you know, there's no way nothing he said. And when he went to the, to tell you the truth, where he really would have lost me if he'd been in the room was when he started the, the saying he was Jesus, because that's a common, a very typical common delusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people who are off the deep end about you know if, if you're bipolar or whatever you know there there's people that you know, a lot of them that out there that say oh yeah by the way I'm Jesus Christ and and I'm Satan too <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was waiting for that to come next but uh, <laughs> but yeah like I said um, I'm not saying I I think from what I've you know uh, talked about in with you know in this discussion I think it probably makes it sound like I hated the movie. I didn't hate the movie. Um, so what I would... strikes me about the movie, the, yeah. the reason why this movie sticks in my head yeah. is not because it's so good. It's because I have no idea why anyone likes it. Right, <laughs> right, right. And yet I like this movie. Yeah, This movie sticks in my head and it's not just me. It's got like a... Like I want to say a seven point two rating on IMDb, yeah. On on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. It's got a one hundred percent rating for critics, and granted, that's only five critics weighing in, yeah. But for thousands of audience viewers, it yeah. has an eighty five percent positive rating. Well, it, it's again, I I do think the idea is intriguing. I think it's different. Um, it's definitely, it, it's it's a movie that does make you think whether whether you're, you know, whether you're going to buy into the idea or not. It's a movie that will make you think a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, again, um, I have I have problems with it, um, but I didn't hate it, and I can't say I loved it either. Um, I, I no. it's. So I may have an explanation as to at least why I loved it. Okay. Because of this man. Okay. And? That's the writer. Okay. That's, that's Jerome Bixby. Okay. Uh, well-known sci-fi writer. Yeah. I guess well-known in certain circles. Yeah. But also well known for writing many Star Trek episodes. Oh, is that right? Okay. This right. movie is one long Star Trek episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could definitely be. <laughs> yeah. This, this guy wrote um an episode of the original series yeah. called Requiem Requiem for Methuselah. Okay. That I, it, that name actually is familiar, but I don't think I've it read it. It explores many of the similar themes. So it's like he took that theme and expanded it into this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um again, I, an intriguing idea. I I think the I think the plot was kind of a cool plot. I just I, maybe if they'd offered up like a little bit more proof if there had been some thing that he could have pointed towards the direction of why he could actually claim that with some kind of credibility. So at, at, at least so that not that he needed to necessarily, but with the shocking claims that he was coming out with, I mean, to say he studied under the Buddha and all that stuff. I mean, it was just, you know, he, he was, I mean, I guess he could have claimed he was there at like more and, important and, events. And ultimately like at the end of the movie, he said he fooled everyone. Like, he basically claims, oh, I was just kidding. This is all a lie. It was yeah. all a story. Yeah. So the... the but he claimed that story. after... He claimed that after there was there was an event, really, that it was like, I need to stop this from... Yep. Yeah. 
I, I think he worried he'd gone too far, right? I mean, wasn't that the reason why he said? It, and and was it? I mean, again, it's open to interpretation. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. And and I mean, yeah, I guess if he was just screwing with them, the idea of that, like if, if he needed to make an exit, but then again, like, uh, you know, what what was the real reason if he wasn't that old or was or didn't think he was that old? Then what was the reason for needing to relocate the way he did? So I mean, we don't know, but 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 at the it's obvious at the start of the movie he did not want any of them showing up. He yeah. would have been perfectly happy just to have gone without yeah he ever looked he seen looked, any of them again. Yeah, he if, looked surprised. If, when, if when, like he said, okay, well they're there, I'm gonna totally screw with their heads. Yeah, and then leave. Yeah. Well, maybe I mean, the guy did, just could have been a big dick. Maybe he really didn't like any of them. <laughs> you know, you know, it was like, wow, these people showed up. I got to get rid of them. <laughs> so, so, so let me fuck with them in the most you know, obnoxious way I can think of. So, yeah, there, there is that possibility. But you know, that actually is something that I probably would have enjoyed more if, at some point, that that that's what came out was like, you know, I never liked any. <laughs> You guys, so you know, this has all been me messing with you, but but no, like I said, I, I have I have problems with the movie. Um, I can't recommend the movie. Um, I won't give it, I don't think I'll give it one thumb up, but yeah, I yeah. but be, because of that. However, again, I I don't consider this uh, to be a waste of my time. I, I there there I can think of one or two movies that I've watched that I really was repulsed by did not like and would never ever recommend in any way shape or form this one here like i said i, I at least it interested me you know I, I i liked what was going on um different idea and because of that i think it's you know it's probably worth a look you know it's it's but so I, a, a, anyone that's been following this yeah um our youtube channel hopefully at this point has noticed a theme for my choices. I like low budget inventive films. Yeah. They don't necessarily have to be the greatest films. Yeah. But I love seeing what creative people do. Yeah. When left to their own devices, when they're not in the pocket of a big studio. Yeah. Well, and, and to tell you the truth in that, in that sense, I completely agree with you because First of all, I mean, you know, different ones that we picked. I know um, The Endless was one that I really enjoyed that you picked, uh, but different ones. And I, 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 I brought up that one, Dead End, which was definitely a low-budget movie. Yep. That was mm -hmm. one that I feel the same way. And, and, and I love indie movies, first of all, especially really well-done indie movies. What someone can do on a budget sometimes that a big studio can't do, they can't entertain me with millions of dollars. And um, that that right there tells me, it's like, you know, Hollywood doesn't have, they don't have their finger on the pulse. They don't get it. They, they, they and, they're, and they're just rehashing old plots. So something like this, I'll give this credit over a lot of Hollywood movies. I, I, I will say that, but I, I definitely I enjoy a I enjoy a lower budget movie. There's definitely problems with this film. Again, like I said in the short that that I put out, I can't explain why I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some sometimes you sometimes that's the case. It's you you do have a harder time. Uh, you do have a harder time sometimes wondering why, you know, you you like a certain movie. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll I'll look at this a little more fondly down the road. Um, I it's you know different movies that people have recommended. Even the movie Funny Games, uh, which the the original, uh, I believe it was German, uh, Funny Games. Uh, I, I I bring this up a lot because I did not like that movie when I watched it. I was like, it it, it was so unsettling to me. The violence was over the top terrible violence i hated the way it ended there were so many things i disliked about that movie and i i remember i remember expressing those thoughts to you know 
the person, Leisha, who recommended it to me. And, um, and then I thought about it later on and it was, it, it stuck with me. The movie was really in my head. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, the movie actually brought out certain feelings and emotions and, and it was, it was something that I ended up thinking to myself, I, I would re I would rewatch it. And I, I actually gave it some, I, I got it. I got, I got the, I got what the intention was when they made the movie. And I saw the Hollywood sequel, which was not as good, but it was good. Um, but again, uh, I changed my opinion on it. And so sometimes a movie, if a movie makes you feel something sometimes or gives you that, you know, kick in the gut, sometimes to me that's enough. But who knows why we like something? Why do you, why do you like a certain piece of art? You know, mm -hmm. it's, why do you like mm -hmm. a certain song or whatever? It resonates with you in some way. So, yeah. That's that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> so so I also like the fact that the reason I've even seen this film is because of pirates. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if it, th this film was made on a two hundred thousand dollar budget. Yeah. And when, yeah. when Lisa watched it with me, she's like, really, they spent that much on this? <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Well, to tell you the truth, knowing what it costs to put together a film crew and and to film something actually that's surprisingly low yeah even even for independent small films mm -hmm. i mean um it costs a lot of money to put a movie out and i mean not you know i'm, I'm sure this didn't get any promotion but no, um not yeah so um the fact that they had i mean the fact they had william tapp behind me right now um that and, that, and john billingsley behind me yeah, yeah, yes. So Not that he, he's an A-list or anything, but he's been so many sci-fi. Oh, and... oh yeah, no, very familiar face. I mean, I, to tell you the truth, I I kind of recognize most of them from other mm -hmm. films. It's just that they weren't known, you know, known people to me or as well known. Uh, I was actually surprised because I did not recognize uh, William Cat right away. And I'm very familiar with him and I've seen him in a few things, uh, and most notably... <laughs> greatest american hero oh my but, god um, i love that show it was you know i i i actually i really remember the show uh from years ago and and it was actually kind of really humorous and and fun it was it was silly as hell but it was a lot of fun yeah uh, yeah it was so. very much a, I I actually wrote a piece on it right. and it, it's it's very much a, an element of its time and i don't think it could ever be recreated it, it probably not it, it would it would probably looked but it was a great idea first of all yeah i mean a superhero who gets a costume that he lost the instructions for and basically is having a lot of problems using it and he can't get the full function out of the costume and every once in a while something surprises him oh the suit can do this <laughs> it's uh it's hysterical it's a great idea and uh yeah so it's it, it, like I said, it it was. I'm always going to have a fondness for William Cat because of that that show. So they uh, did try and reboot it back in like um, I want to say 2010 or something. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. With, with the greatest American heroine. Hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe they should. Do, well, it, it, it's too late. They I, already tried. I, I I still think it's a great idea. I still think it has possibilities, but man, it would need to be a very very different show. I was gonna say, you know, maybe Netflix actually could do it. They they've pulled they pulled some some really good superhero ones, uh, you know, out of their butts. Uh, I I can't believe how good some of their Marvel superhero ones have been. Yep. Uh, and and I've always been disappointed because I, I, I like different ones, and it's like they ended that. <laughs> it's like you know where they didn't, decided not to you know continue. I, like, I am on. looking forward to uh, Daredevil Reborn. Oh yeah, the Daredevil one. To tell you the truth, that Daredevil series was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I loved the cast, the entire cast that yep. was in that, and I thought that was one, that was probably the most entertaining Daredevil that I've ever seen you know, on screen. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then it was like, well, it's not coming back. Cause what did they do? Two seasons and it was gone. Was two it two or three? Seasons? That maybe it was three. Yeah. 
but um, but I, I, I was just extremely disappointed. It's like, come on, you know, you, you, you're you going to end that one? <laughs> you know, I mean, there's so many TV series that seem to go on and on, and they're awful. <laughs> and oh, God, like, yes. You know, but um, but no, like I said, I, 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 I uh, I'm hedging a little bit because I like I said, I think I I had to give you my I had to give you my criticisms and my. And oh, yeah, my, totally. The harshest stuff first. But like I said, it's um, I, 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 I enjoyed watching it. Uh, it was just that um, I can't recommend it. I, I, it's, you know, it's. This, uh, this, this, and again, I, I can't recommend this either. I, I like it. I've seen this like four times now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I can't recommend it because you got to be a very particular mindset to yeah. actually enjoy this. Yeah, I and guess I don't know if you are or not. Well, until it, I... yeah, well, I think probably if I was going to recommend it to anybody, I would probably if I if I was talking to somebody that like, you know, like you, like me too, that likes low budget stuff, uh, something different. And if they're into sci fi and they and they do like different, you know, uh, plots, different, different movie lines. Then I would maybe say, yeah, well, you could try that one because it's, you know, it's something that is off, you know, offbeat and and uh, and something a little bit, you know, away from the current, you know, the Hollywood is so bullshit. I, I you know, it's, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I hate to criticize Hollywood just purely on. Well, Hollywood. I mean, we run a movie channel, so yeah, yeah. Well, Let's I, criticize it, Hollywood. I mean, they put out great movies every once in a while, and they surprise the shit out of me, but, but so much of the stuff is rehash. I look at a lot of foreign movies and if people really understood how many movies that they see that's out of Hollywood that they, they think they, well, they do like, but, but the, it's like, you know, the, the Magnificent Seven, which was a good movie. I like the Magnificent Seven. Very, very, very well done movie, but. Yeah, which it, version it, are you talking about? Right. Yeah, that's true too. I like the original <laughs> Uh, magnificent seven but but then the other thing is do you understand that that was the seven samurai mm -hmm. and that's where that came from and that whole plot and so yeah great great movie and it was fun and I, they did they it was a nice take on the seven samurai but as a western so yeah cool idea i'll give them full credit for it and i enjoy the movie but hollywood steals ideas and so uh, it's like, can you have a, an original idea yourself, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, the lack of originality is what brings me to this type of movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, same here, I, because I should tell you the truth, if you're if you're talking about like a run of the mill, you know, you're, you're the average movie that comes out, hits the theaters, and they wonder why audiences are not, you know, yeah, we got home theater now and all that, but but you wonder why, People don't flock to the theaters as much, but it's a the plots are rehashes. They're they're not original. I, you know, maybe if they'd actually been able to throw more of a budget at this movie, maybe the movie would have been more fully thought out and 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 you know probably would have been a little more believable. But then again, Hollywood might have ruined it too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So there was there's that. But yeah, I to tell you the truth, John, keep the keep the. Uh, from from my perspective keep the independent ones coming keep the keep oh, those small ones <laughs> because i i love them and and you've uh, gotten me to watch a couple that i was not aware of um the endless being one of them um but you, there's been a couple and i've really enjoyed them so um you know i i've got my i've got a whole bunch of <laughs> i've mostly been throwing out you know more of the bigger hollywood ones including my next pick for, for the, our next one um, is a bigger budget movie, but um, I fully love the small independent film, the small low budget, sometimes one that's just good for a laugh. So, um, my, yeah, my so, taste... so anyone out there that's watching this that wonders, is the man from earth worth your while? Would you like it? The question you have to ask yourself is, do you like the original Star Trek? Yeah, and if you would gladly go back and watch an an episode of the original Star Trek back in the '60s and enjoy it, you might enjoy this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it you're you're right. It is 
it does there is a little bit of that star trek plot half um, the cast has been in star trek yeah of this movie I, I i love the original star trek i'm a, much of a uh, for, for one thing there's the nostalgia thing i mean i grew up watching the show and the other thing is i love the hokiness of it and i also love the fact that the original star trek they actually were trying to make thoughtful plots you know and the, like the, like i love roddenberry yeah he, yeah I, and and like i am a trekkie yeah and i will admit i like I like New Trek. Yeah. I like Strange New Worlds. I love Strange New Worlds, actually. I think it's great. I like Star Trek Discovery, even though they have abandoned Roddenberry's theme. Yeah. Which, yeah. which Roddenberry was committed to writing episodes that actually explored society. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. That's, that's been abandoned. It's total fun now, so yeah. I'm not complaining. But it's certainly not the purest Star Trek. No, and and, and to tell you the truth, um, I I that's one of the things that really did appeal to me in the original show. And you know, another th one that you got me into TV shows. I, I I actually, as much as we're we've got a movie channel here, um, there's times where I think to myself, I wouldn't mind exploring some TV shows. We should uh, talk about an episode where we do that. Yes, absolutely. But I was going to say, you got me into Star Trek: The Next Generation. Mm. I probably because I, I have, I have to admit, I, like the only Star Trek I've seen is the original and the Next Generation. Those are the only ones that I've explored. You started talking about how good Next Gen was, and when I and I was like, oh, I'll check it out, and I started watching it, and I was like, this is this is a good show, and I really got into all the characters, uh, the plots. Um, again, it was, it, it was, um, Oh, Mike, you should check out Deep Space Nine. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll probably have to, because uh, I've, I've gotten that recommendation from a few people and you definitely have told me that before over the years. So I probably, you're going to have to keep on me about that, but, um, I, I should, I should check it out. But you, like I said, you made me a big fan of next gen. So, and I, I, I own that on Voodoo. I, you know, I own, own both the original and next gen on on voodoo because i i love both shows you know so yeah that was so anyway to, to to sum this movie up i i think we're giving it weird thumbs somewhere yeah, yeah maybe <laughs> sideways thumbs. <laughs> two, two sideways thumbs or maybe like one that's leaning <laughs> one, <erect. laughs> one side again it's free on youtube if you want yeah. to kill 89 minutes that's yeah. the run time yeah. if you're if you're bored check and want out. to see something different then sure check it out uh and who knows you might find yourself really uh you might find yourself really liking the movie um you know they they shot the whole friggin' movie in two places in yep. front of the house and inside the house and that in itself is amazing it's basically a discussion um and, a, and it's, a, it is a discussion that's the yeah. whole movie <laughs> yeah and in that sense too i think that's really cool that you you actually made a movie around people talking about a an idea of what about is one idea yeah yeah so so yeah like i said um uh, i, I got to give them props for certain things and um i i absolutely you know it's it's funny because again you've been saying right along I, I i haven't found one that you hated yet and i didn't hate it i really didn't um i i didn't fully like it so it's 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 hard it's a hard call for me i have it real is a hard call. so but yeah I, I i still enjoyed it i still thank you for for bringing it to my attention and um and i think the audience probably if, if they're watching this still <laughs> if we still got them, um, I, I would say you probably ought to check it out. Just if, if you're a movie buff, uh, which we are, and we're we're much more willing as movie buffs, we're much more willing to take a chance on something. Oh, I'll watch practically anything. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I really will. I, you know, it's it's um, there's got the movie's got to have serious serious flaws of being boring <laughs> to to lose me. To the point, and this wasn't boring. Uh, it, it, was, it was the opposite of boring. It was fun. So that's 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 my wrap up on it. <laughs>
Well, in that case, Mike, let's uh, let's drop the can on this and uh, call it a day. All right. Uh, well, again, Dom, I like I said, thank you for thank you for bringing it to us. Uh, you you definitely you definitely introduced us to something that's uh, different, and and it was it was a good watch. I like I said, uh, I can't. I I hate to you know hate to say I can't recommend it. Don't hate uh, to say it. That's but, I mean like. I, yeah. I get it. Like I said, I'm yeah. like, I don't know why I like it. So yeah, I don't well, expect anyone else to. I liked it to a point. I liked it to a point. So, but anyway, that, Hey, we're calling it, calling it a day for this one. And, uh, and I've already got my pick in mind. Dom, Dom knows it, but I we'll, know it. Dom will be announcing it in a, in a short. I'll um, drop the short in a few days. So, yeah. So um, we will, we will definitely have, another good one coming coming your way or or maybe you'll think it's a good one i don't know <laughs> but uh you, we never know you never know what's coming from us but dom uh, thank you again I, I thanks for doing this even from a sick bed thank so, you mike but hey it was fun man uh see you next Always. week take yep. care buddy so long see ya